Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel. I know I said I wasn't gonna make a video until next year, but I really wanted to finish the year off by giving you a tutorial um, into the update of Share Factory, which now introduces time-lapse effects and also slow motion effects. So let's get into it, shall we? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into my projects and um, I'm gonna select the Catch the Clay Pigeon clip, which you may have seen as part of the test for the time-lapse and slow motion function. So I'm gonna go into that. Now, one of the things that I've noticed is that one of the main commands that was featured before the update is no longer there. And to me, that command is one of the most important. And if you go into the edit function, which is square, you will see that the function that is missing is actually move clip, which before you can actually take a clip and move from left to right. You can snap it to the left or snap it to the right by pressing L1 or R1, which to me was great because you can just import your clips and basically put them in the timeline and just put them into any order you wish or you so desire. But now you can't do that. So you have to kind of take it step by step and put it in a particular order if that makes sense it's it's really intuitive as to how to basically do it that's not what i'm going to teach you to do what i'm going to teach you to do is how to use the time bender um, function in your timeline now what i'm going to have to do because i've got the, the time bender function already implemented and once it's implemented, it will go into a deep shade of purple, as you can see here now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit that particular clip and put it back to normal, right? Okay, so now you can see that all the clips have been highlighted in blue, okay? Right, now, to simply slow a clip down or to speed it up you go into the edit section which is square go into time bender and you will see the play speed now at the moment is dead center so it's playing in real time and if you want to speed it up twice as fast four times as fast eight times as fast depending on how you cut the clip you might not be able to speed it up to eight times the amount so obviously you're going to need a substantial amount of footage to get the eight times speed on the clip if that makes sense because if you just got like two seconds of footage it's not going to make sense to basically speed it up to eight times because you, you just don't have that amount of footage to implement the change if you know what i mean so that's something to basically consider. You can actually test it out by going into one eighth of the speed. And you can see the current length is three seconds, but the new length is going to be 27 seconds. So it's actually, you know, multiplying the clips by eight and by four and by two, if you're slowing it down. If you're speeding it up, it's dividing it and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it at one eighth of the speed. And as you can see, it shows the speed length at the bottom left hand corner of the clip. And you can basically test it out and play it. In fact, that is not even the clip I even really wanted to change. I'm so sorry. Let me just go back into Time Bender straight away. Okay, let me just, okay, sort that out. That's not the clip. This is the clip. Sorry, I apologize. But these mistakes can be made. So I'm gonna go into the editing function again, Time Bender, and slow it down to one eighth. So where's the clip would have been two seconds? Now it's 21 seconds. That's how slow you can whip that thing down to. So, uh, let's go back in again. Right, I'm gonna show you the original length. Right, 
right there you go right so now I'm gonna take that same clip time bend it to one eighth and then play it Now, to me, it kind of looks a bit jerky. And in Sony's defense, it's not a high-end editing software. It's not a high-end software, so you can't expect Sony Vegas with this shit. You know what I'm saying? But you can adapt to certain shortcomings of the software by, you know, just adding a little bit of finesse to it and stuff. So anyway, looking at this clip, it looks a bit jerky. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I want to do, I want to make it a little bit faster, but not that fast. So I'm going to go back into it and change it from one eighth to one quarter. Put that in. Okay. And play that. Okay. It's a little better. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and play the whole thing. And just see how it looks in relation to the whole clip. Now obviously with the overlays and stickers, I've got tutorials on how to do those things in my series as well. And that is more or less it. Um, there's nothing else you really need to learn about the whole process. It's actually holding your hand a great deal of the way because obviously it's color code coordinated. It's color coded for you to know when an effects has been applied to the clip. And with the time bender function, you can actually see the speed as well. So you don't have to basically play every clip in the same speed and if you want to know which speed the clip is at you will see it at the bottom left hand corner it's it's very very easy to use but like i said the one thing you're going to notice if you have been using share factory is that the move clip function is not there anymore so you have to kind of um place your clips in the timeline in order and then basically work on the clips as you go which is telling me that um, the processing power of the app is really really being stretched i think it's going to have more processing power as the updates progress in the app but i would strongly recommend you giving it a go now you've got the slow motion option to um, edit your clips in it will just make your clips look a lot more dynamic and you know for those who use high-end editing software that's fine but for those who hasn't got editing software can't afford the software for whatever reason that you don't have editing software to hand and you're not a youtuber you know maybe you want to start this is a good place to start really is because it has the option to to export to youtube and all of that lovely stuff so give it a go anyway that's me out of here for now. I'm going to bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, let's go back. You know the coup. Whatever the game, media, format, genre, happy gaming. Because that's what it's truly about, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters. And until I catch you on the next one, Megan.